guys, what's up? What's going on? It's your boy Worst Effing Gamer, and I'm back with another awakening video today. I hope you guys are excited because we are about to awaken Enrique. This guy's very tricky, alright, guys? Very tricky. His abilities are actually really, really cool. He's a great support hero, uh, but he's not being used as much as you would think. So let's take a look and let's see if this awakening will actually, you know, push him over the edge and make him one of the best support heroes in the game. I don't know yet. We'll see how that works out. So I've already gotten the first part all set. So let's move on. Let's go to part number two. Bountiful Caverns Title Temple. Two more times here. So I, you can easily just sweep this now and then we'll be done with this. So let's go ahead, finish this off and here we go. Completion. Alright, so what do we got to do here? Hero without him or any of his teammates being killed? Terrific. This is my speciality. So, <laughs> let's go. I'm going to roll with... I'm going to go with Ling Ling. I don't know why. No freaking reason. Sylphie, she's a beast. Uh, Petros, uh, another beast. And uh, let's go with Haruk. Alright. I hope I have a good mixture of physical and magic here because it seems like it's going to be physical immunity and then magic immunity, I think. So this is physical, which is fine because uh, Sylphie has enough magic damage to take care of her. Yep. And then I think Petros has enough. Yeah, this is going to be easy. And then Petros has enough for the next stage. So I'm not worried about this stage at all here. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Keep talking. Keep talking. Go ahead, Petros. Use your ultimate, turn the battlefield into a monstrous volcano and let them all fall in and die in the hot lava. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Now, let's do this really simply. And by that, I mean put everybody to goddamn sleep. Sleep! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Yeah, that could change... You guys have no idea. That could change the tide of a battle, guys. In the arena, this guy gets his ultimate off. <sniffs> you're almost dead. Dead meat. Believe me. That changes a lot of battles. So, here's part number three. So, who's ready for this, guys? Are you ready? I'm ready. If you're ready for this, guys, please leave your boy a thumbs up, a like in this video. That helps me out. Helps everybody out. It helps you out, too. Because you know why? You feel better at night. Trust me. You're going to feel a lot better at night when you hit that thumbs up button. But here we go! What? Yo, that's such a big difference. Holy moly. This guy went from puss and boots to freaking Robin Hood or something like that. That's a big change. Oh, but I love it. Oh my god. Yo, that's phenomenal. Look at that. That is sick, guys. This guy is charming all the female ladies. God damn you taking all my women. How freaking dare you? Look at her dancing there. Is that... Is she belly dancing? Shake your body like a belly dancer. I think so, man. I think she's belly dancing there. Oh, wow. Looking very nice. Anyways, let's move on, guys. Let's see... If this is a big difference for our boy Enrique here, so I mean, looks wise, it's definitely a big difference. Oh, I love, I love this guy now. Look at this. Yes, pretty, pretty dope. Uh, let's see now. Song of Healing. After Enrique uses uh, Hypnotic Lullaby, that's his ultimate. If you didn't know, nearby allies will restore some health over an extended period of time. Allies, allies restore 263 health per second for 20 seconds. For 20 seconds. Yo, that's literally the whole battle. Huh. Uh, that's a long time. 300, 343 per second for 20 seconds. So if you really think about it, uh, 343 at this point, and there's going to be another like 20 levels to go. So maybe it'll go up to like, I don't even know how much it went up by it. But, so if you just multiply this times 20, right? Because it's per second times 20. And what is it? 3,000, 6,000, like 6,800. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot, guys. That's pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Wow. Enrique, I might work on you, bro. I literally might work on this guy. Let me see. All right, I have a lot of these, so I'm going to give him this one. 
What do I have here? Ooh, I have a lot of those too. Well, all right, let's give him that too. So that's two down. I got two staffs. I'm uh, missing some things here. Uh, God damn it! Every hero needs the same items here, so I'm missing about two more items there, and I can take him to orange plus two. Which I'm gonna debate on doing for this guy, guys, for sure. But for now, let's go into a battle! Alright, guys, so here we are. Arena time. Let's see what's gonna happen here. I'm rolling with, uh, you know, my arena team here. Except I just changed Enrique in there and he's about to freaking die already. No! He got his ultimate off! Yes! What was that? They only went to sleep for, like, literally two seconds. Was that a weird glitch or what the hell was that? Because Volko came out of that sleep really quickly. That was very weird. Huh, that didn't make no sense at all. But I got the win! Ha <laughs> ha! Victory! So we got the win, even though I feel like Enrique was not a big part of it whatsoever. <laughs> but we still won. Alright, so let's do it again, guys. Let's see if this one makes a little bit of a difference. Let's see RNGs on our side here. Alright, so... Yikes! No, not really. <laughs> Alright. Too weak, I'm thinking he's just too weak. Volko, he cannot handle Volko's punishment in the back. Uh, another thing that you can do is put somebody else in back of Enrique. That definitely could help out against Volko because Volko usually hits the back line. And uh, that could help out. But damn, he got taken out real quick. At orange plus two, obviously a lot more defenses. So that could change a lot. But let's see. But for right now, let's go ahead, let's work on his item here a little bit. Let's auto-forge 50 times. This might have helped me out a little bit on that battle. Maybe, possibly, could be. You never know. Um, yeah, so I think at orange plus two, this guy is definitely more than serviceable, guys. For sure, this guy will be a decent, a very decent support hero in the game. Um, would I take him over somebody like Sumiko? And some other support heroes? I don't know yet. Still too early, but at orange plus two, he's good, pretty good. But you got Ling Ling, who's a support, who's <laughs> very good. So it all depends, guys. It all really depends. I don't really see him being great. All right, so those are the bonuses that you see there. Let's head over to his artwork here one more time. So I really don't see him, as I'm saying, being great in raids or in Hall of Legends because he doesn't really increase your physical or magic attack he does he does give you a this is the dodge rating um which one is it i think it's this one right here increase attack speed all right so he does increase attack speed for one single hero though which is um okay it's not bad but he's completely more of an arena hero so i can definitely see him being very usable in the arena so this goes up by four um, like I said, in the arena, a lot better than any, everywhere else, but that's about it, guys. So, if you really need a nice support hero in the arena, Enrique is actually pretty cool. Uh, this helps him out a lot, and I'm liking, you know, what he's all about here. So, for now, I'm not going to work on him any further, because I got a lot of other heroes to do. But, he's not a bad hero, guys. You can roll with him if you have him, alright? That'll pretty much do it for Enrique, guys. His awakening looks pretty awesome. So I'll see you guys on the next awakening video. And till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, good night, peace.